Nothing is coming to save you. No thing, nobody. If you are waiting and hoping for the right book, the right guru, the right YouTube video, or anything else, then you will remain asleep. Hope is inert. It's a pacifier, the camouflage of ignorance. It's an exercise in futility. If this sounds like you, then you can remedy that. Let's lift the veil. Good morning lights. Hope is conjured memory of an illusory future. So, hope implies future, and thus, negates the present. Why hope? One cannot escape in time. Only this ever-present moment is real. The only escape, so to speak, is to realize that you are already free. That there was never a need to escape, and there was never anyone to attempt this getaway. This is what you could call, the hidden secret of non-duality. A secret, not intentionally hidden, but veiled in paradox. The paradox being, that you wholeheartedly desire to achieve enlightenment, and you actively seek to do so. But in order to recognize that you are already fully awake, you must move beyond the constant seeking of the mind. One could say that seeking is an impediment to awakening. Only by fully embracing surrender, acceptance and stillness, in this moment, can one resolve this apparent paradox and rise above the impediment of hope and waiting. Only by this letting go, will you realize that true freedom and enlightenment, come from within, through self-awareness, self-inquiry, and living fully in the present moment. Seeking, itself is simply desire, a movement of mind. Desire is a projection away from the now, into an imaginary future, but enlightenment is always now. Truly, one must not seek, one must simply, be. Enlightenment is not found by seeking, it is not found at all, but rather, unveiled in the experiential recognition, that it is already the case, in this very moment. It's an immediate recognition of your essential nature. Life can only be lived, right now, or never. Enlightenment can only be recognized, right now, or never. To live a life free from suffering and fear. To transcend the limitations and impermanence of the mind. You must realize that the means to do so, lies within you, right now. You must recognize that the freedom you seek, is already the case. You must see clearly, that to wait, or hope for external circumstances to somehow, usher in awakening, is hollow and ill-conceived. The reality of you, as infinite, timeless, awareness, is always ever-present, as self-illuminating I amness. There is no need to seek for it or invent a future where it comes to you. Why would you wait for the realization of your essential nature? It's already here, right now. All that you need to do, is to drop the identification with the body, mind and world, the unreal. Why wait for the future to be free? The time for freedom is always now. Hope is just an imagined projection of the mind. Be absolutely still. Be fully here, right now. And know that you are already complete, fulfilled, and perfectly free. Hoping for an external savior, outside of yourself, is like waiting for the rain to fall upwards. The recognition of your true nature is seen clearly, when the mind is no longer seeking, grasping, holding on or resisting. It is a condition of absolute acceptance and surrender to what truly is.
Take responsibility for your own liberation and awaken to this truth within you right now. Following are a few verse excerpts from the Ashtavakra Gita that speak to the concept of Maya, the illusion of creation and the transient nature of the phenomenal world. The Ashtavakra Gita is a revered Advaita Vedanta scripture that expounds on the nature of the self, or Atman, and the essence of reality. Chapter 1, Verse 12 Like the appearance of water in a mirage, the world is seen by the ignorant as real. It is said to exist in the infinite, but there is no such thing. Chapter 2, Verse 8 Ocean, wave, foam and bubble, these are not distinct entities, separate from water. Likewise, the universe arising from the Supreme Brahman, is the Supreme Brahman itself. Chapter 18, Verse 56 The world is an illusion, appearing like the water in a mirage. The truth is that, I am the one reality. There is no one to acknowledge creation or dissolution. Dear Lights, The world is an illusion, a fleeting manifestation, that appears real to the unenlightened mind, but dissolves upon the realization of the ultimate truth. These pointings and metaphors serve to illustrate the impermanence and insubstantial nature of the phenomenal world. They emphasize the need to transcend illusion and recognize the underlying unity of existence. I know you are tired. I know that you have been striving and relentlessly seeking for truth. But I trust that you now see the futility of continuing in this manner. If you need some direct assistance, just reach out in the comments or by email. If these pointings resonate with you, please like, comment, subscribe and consider supporting this work. That's all for now. Much love, catch you on the next one. Sometimes